Hello YouTube, this is Phantom Roy, and welcome to round 4 of Madden Madness. Only two games left. In this tournament it's win or go home and anything can happen. Today we have the NFC Championship in Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Massachusetts, home of the Patriots. So who you got in this one? Let us know in the comments below before the game and subscribe to follow the action as it happens. So without further ado, it's the Cowboys, it's the Vikings, it's Madden Madness, and it's time to get going. Case Keenum in what could be his final game of any importance, whether it's Madden or otherwise as a Viking. Cowboys will kick off to start so they'll get the ball to start the second half Vikings will get the ball first and kickoff will be caught in the end zone for a touchback and here comes Case Keenum only one touchdown and only one interception so far in Madden Madness this season for Keenum. Starting from the 25, Vikings go to work. Cowboys showing blitz right off the bat. Play action fake, it's Keenum, rolls to his right, steps up the field, throws. Big gain to Kyle Rudolph, their tight end, 35 yards. So on the first play of the game, Minnesota in field goal range. And the first play of the game is just so important. It's a tone setter. Big sack. Big win for the defense and the Cowboys. Big gain for the Vikings. Big win for the Vikings. Minnesota obviously got their way, and so... First play of the game gives Minnesota all the momentum. Running formation for the offense. Murray. Latavius Murray goes down at 37. It's a gain of three. And the Vikings have beaten the Lions, the Bears, and the Bucks to get here. The Vikings defense has been nearly perfect, giving up only three total points in three games and posting back-to-back -back shutouts their last two games. To win today, the Vikings will have to stuff the running attack. If Elliott on the other side can be taken out of the equation, Prescott will be uncomfortable for the first time so far in Madden Madness, and that can only play into the Vikings defense. Cowboys rushing attack is no joke, so this will be pretty difficult. This should be a good one. As for the Cowboys, the Cowboys have beaten the Eagles, Redskins, and Seahawks to get here. All of their wins have pretty much looked the same. It's been Ezekiel Elliott who's been doing the heavy lifting with three touchdowns, while Prescott has none. The Cowboys' formula so far has been to run with Elliott, minimize risk, and a live behind their lockdown defense. To win, the running game has to work. Also, no turnovers. The Cowboys only turn the ball over once against the Eagles, and it almost cost them the game, so ball security is paramount. The Vikings are no slouch on defense, so it'll be difficult. This will be fun. Minnesota. All of a sudden is that fourth down. They're in field goal range, so they'll definitely take the three. Or they'll punt. They'll punt from the 37? Wow, their, their kicker must be, uh, <laughs> must be a windy day or something. Punting from your own thir or from the 37. Ugh, that's got to be frustrating. Prescott comes onto the field, and as I said earlier, he de doesn't have a touchdown so far this season. No interceptions either. On the other hand, 
Elliott's been doing all the heavy lifting. He's got three touchdowns to his name, and he's pretty much been the offensive guy. It's been the O-line and Elliott getting to work. So Cowboys come out now. Prescott under center showing run, predictably. Vikings rush five. Elliott on his first carry gets a good gain. Gain of six. Second and four now for the Cowboys on their inaugural drive of the game. They'll break huddle just under five minutes in the first quarter. Three wide. Prescott under center. Fakes the throw. Hands to Elliott. And Elliott's got a first down and a heck of a lot more. Flag down on the play, though. See if this comes back. And it's Jason Witt and Still second down. And they'll decline it. Wow. Uh, okay. <laughs> Second and 14. You can, and that means you only need to give up seven or less yards to get that stop. Now they need to stop. I don't understand that. Questionable decision here. For the Vikings. Let's see if it bites them. And it's Elliott. Elliott's easily got the first down. If they took the penalty, that would not be a first. Instead, first and ten. Really questionable decision by Mike Zimmer. So far, the Vikings decided not to go for the field goal from the 37, and they decided to give up basically a free first down by not taking the holding penalty. Oh, wow. I just got it. <laughs> the holding penalty was not for 10 yards as it normally is. As that is caught, 16 yards on the pickup by the man in question, Witten. So he makes up for his holding call. So the hold was basically on the line of scrimmage just a little bit past the line of scrimmage, like inches past the line of scrimmage. That was a little bit confusing, okay. Just under four minutes. Cowboys are driving. Press got in the eye. Takes two handoffs, and now he's got time. Rolls to his right, steps up, and he's getting up the field. Brought down at the 28. It's going to be a 22 yard rush. Prescott's first rush of the game. So Minnesota had the chance at going up three zip, but instead the Cowboys have put themselves in a position to guarantee themselves basically three points as long as they don't turn the ball over or take multiple sacks. Cowboys still haven't faced a third down yet against this number one defense. Four wide. Prescott rolls to his right. Throws across his body toward the end zone. Incomplete. Overthrew his man. I think he's just trying to throw it away. And here's the Cowboys offensive line, the money makers for this team. Setting up those holes for that man right there, Ezekiel Elliott, center of your screen. Second and ten now for the Cowboys. So let's see if Minnesota can get something popping here. As the Cowboys line up to face a second and long. Running formation for the offense. Hand off to Elliott. And Elliott gets four. Bring up third and six. That'll be the Cowboys' first third down 
of the game. And here's the defense they'll be facing on third down. Gideon has a pick six. Sandejo has an interception, and Kendricks has an interception. So, Vikings defense definitely living up to the stats from the regular season. Three wide to Prescott's left, running formation likely. They will throw out of it though. Prescott throws, it's Williams and Williams drops it. So Prescott goes 0 for 2 after completing his first pass for 16 yards. And that'll bring up fourth down. Dan Bailey gets ready to kick it. Kicks up. And it's good. Three zip. Cowboys take the early lead. Jason Garrett, Mike Zimmer. Each hoping for a better drive for their offense and defense respectively on this next series. Defense forced a punt, but they gave up a lot of yardage. I'd rather see them get the ball back earlier. Talking about the Cowboys, of course. Ball sails out of the back of the end zone, and so Minnesota will be assigned to the 25. Just under two minutes left in the first. Running formation for the offense. Keenum takes the handoff. He's got time. Lots of time. Surveys. All day. Th goes deep. And it's picked off by Jones. Intercepted. So Keenum's 1 and 2 now for touchdown to interceptions. And that's Jones' first pick of Mad Madness. I don't know what Keenum was thinking there. Had all time in the pocket, just decides to uncork it. Not even close to his man. Three Cowboys in the area, one Viking kind of in the area. And he had a similar play earlier in the season. That comes to mind. That was his other interception. It was a deep ball like that as well, so... Cowboys have all the momentum early on. Minnesota had it for a drive, and Dallas has taken it for the rest of the first quarter. And so Dallas will start from their midfield. Not their midfield, both their side of midfield, just barely. Three wide. Could run a throw. Prescott to Elliott. Elliott spins around a defender, gets a first down, and some extra yards. Four rushes, 32 yards. And so far, the Vikings do not have an answer for Elliott. Not really. That hole was gaping. Look at that. Makes the man miss. And if I'm the Vikings, I want him double teamed at all times. See if Prescott can beat you on his own. Three wide. It's Prescott. Throws. 
Incomplete. Too tall for his man. Second and ten. Wooden in motion, it's Elliot. And Elliot refuses to go down. Gain of five. Brings up third and five. And the Cowboys have not converted yet on third down. 0 for 1, trying to make it 1 for 2. They don't have to run a play before the end of the first quarter. And I don't think they're going to have time to get this snap off. Prescott alone in the backfield and they won't so that brings us to the end of the first Cowboys have the lead and the ball trying to make it a two possession game Start of the second, third and five for Dallas. They're in field goal range, so it could be six to zero. But it all depends on this next play. A sack would take them out of field goal range if it was bad enough. Three wide. Prescott under center. He's going to throw here. Dump off to Smith. And Smith will not get there. Gain of one. Excuse me, loss of one. And that'll force a Dallas field goal. Good job by Dallas's defense, or uh, Minnesota's defense, tightening up on their side of the 50. Bailey lines up for a slightly harder field goal. Just about a yard farther back. Kicks up. And he missed it. Kick is no good. Wide right and short. Wow. So Minnesota's going to get some excellent field goal. Or some excellent field, uh, <laughs> field position. And Garrett can't believe it. That's really frustrating for the Cowboys. And that gives an opportunity for the Vikings to retake some momentum here. And they could possibly take the lead. Keenum under center, gun bunch to his right. Running formation likely. Pitch to Murray to his right. Murray's got some positive yards. They'll call it a gain of three. Brings up second and six, so somewhere between that three and four range. And just about six minutes left in the first half. And Minnesota, ideally, it would be a long drive, but they could definitely kill some clock here and make Dallas hurry up if they get the ball at the end of the half. Keenum, second and six, nearly picked off again. He's one for five with an interception and it could have been one for five and two interceptions. Ball just bounced off his hands. Just a misfire from Keenum, I think. And that's why they're not playing offense. Can't catch. That brings up a quick third and six. Vikings are 7 for 18 now on the season. 0 for 1 in this game, trying to make it 1 for 2. Four wide. It's Keenum. Throws incomplete. 
He had his man open, but couldn't hit him. That brings up fourth and six, and so Minnesota fails to capitalize after the missed field goal attempt and good starting field position. Quickly back to punt. Kicks away toward the sideline, and it's a good kick. Ball sails out at the 16, and that's where Dallas will start their drive. And Elliott, of course, wouldn't you? How could you expect anything less? Five rushes, 37 yards. He's over a seven yards carry average on the game so far. And that's what Dallas needs to win this game. If Elliott's running and Dallas already has the lead Minnesota's in trouble that being said Minnesota will try and plug the holes as Elliott gets a hole and nearly gets a first down though we'll see what they call it they do call it a first down first down Elliott Cowboys are doing exactly what they've been doing all season. They've been able to get up the field with Elliott, and they really don't even have to think about it too much. Just give the ball to the running back and forget about it. That's a pretty easy job, right, for offensive coordinators and quarterbacks? Just hand it to the guy standing back there behind you. Running formation again. It's Elliott up the gut. And he had another big hole. Second and three now for the Cowboys. Four minutes and 30 seconds left in the half. And Minnesota's just got to find an answer. They got to stack some extra bodies at the line of scrimmage. Otherwise, Elliott's just going to find open holes like that all game long. Second and three now. Running formation for the offense. Prescott under center. Late handoff to Elliott. And Elliott just bowling over defenders. That's another 14 yards on the pickup. No answers for the Vikings. Under four to play now in the first half. And if Minnesota can't stop the run, they might just have to turn this thing into a shootout. Jumbo set for the offense. Hands to Elliott up the gut and another hole. Another first down and another big pickup. Nine rushes, 83 yards, 9.2 average. From the 38, Dallas is technically in field goal range, although Bailey missed it pretty bad last time. They definitely want to get a little bit closer for him. Viking show and blitz. And they will. Quick dump off to Jason Witten, the tight end. That brings up second and seven. Scott to Witten. And that's Anthony Barr we'll getting credit for the stop. As well as the other Viking in the area. Second and seven now. They don't have to snap this ball if they don't want to. And they won't. So that brings us to the two minute warning. Dallas has the lead. And they're in field goal range. Trying to make it a two possession game. Alright, Vikings and Cowboys, NFC Championship.
Second and seven. This is the best opportunity we've had so far to get a stop on this drive. Prescott's going to throw here. And Williams dropped it again. That brings up third and long. So the way Elliott's been running it, this could be a running down or it could be a throwing. Typically, it's a throwing. Interestingly enough, Cowboys are 0 for 2 on third down. So watch for Prescott to throw here. Let's see, they will throw. It's Prescott. Nearly picked off. Could have been the, the turnover they needed. Could have been a pick six instead. Brings up fourth down. So Vikings, while a little bit disappointed, should be excited about getting the ball back. And Dan Bailey missed. Look at that. Bailey missed their last field goal attempt from two yards farther back, and it was bad. Let's see if he can miss another one or if he can overcome some demons inside. From the left hash, kicks up, and it's no good again. Wow. And so Vikings will get it. A second chance from the same field position. Wide right again. All right, he's missed two in a row. We'll see if that impacts their decision to use him for the rest of the game, depending on what the situation is. So Keenum, only down three. He's thrown a pick in this one so far. Under two minutes, three timeouts. Anyone's ball game so far. Not... Not a bad game, defensive. Kind of defensive on both sides, but Dallas could be up 9-0 to zero. instead. They're only up three. Gun bunch to his right. It's Keenum. He'll throw, surveys, and that's a big pickup. Completes his second pass of the game, and I think it was Ladarius Treadwell. It was. So Vikings are capitalizing on their second chance from the good starting field position. Look at that. What a catch. Both feet are in bounds, obviously. Excellent. Excellent pass. Excellent catch. And he runs out of bounds, stops the clock. That was 22 yards on the pickup. From the 36. It's Keenum. Throws. Caught by Murray. And they'll call it a gain of five. So he's completed two in a row now. After starting out, one for five. Bach running. Just under a minute and a half. Minnesota in field goal range. Three wide. It's Keenum. It's Treadwell again, this time over the middle. It's a gain of seven. Now he's completed three in a row. Vikings take a timeout. 61 seconds left in the half. Vikings down, but in field goal range and looking. We're back in this tightly contested affair so far. It's the NFC Championship. Winner goes to the big dance, goes to the championship, where they will meet the Tennessee Titans. Three wide. It's Keenum. Surveys, he's got time. Throws for the end zone, and it's caught. Adam Thielen. His first touchdown of Mad Madness. And the Vikings take the lead.
And the extra point's blocked. It's picked up by Heath. He's not gonna get touched. 20, 15, 10, 5. And it's return. So 7 to 3 turns into 6 to 5. Wow. So it was a touchdown ball game, now it's a field goal ball game. That was huge. And I think we're in for a, quite a ride, guys. Under a minute left in the second, Minnesota's going to get to kick it away to Dallas, who's only down one point. They could take the lead before halftime. Caught in the end zone, heel touched out of bounds, and so... Ball comes out to the 25. So Dallas, with their newfound deficit, has to find a way to get that man right there down the field in a hurry. Passing game hasn't been too hot so far. So we'll see what they can do here. See if they can right the ship in terms of the passing game, which is what they'll need here with only a minute left. Minnesota's got two timeouts, so if they can stop them quickly... Get some incompletions in there. Minnesota will have a chance to double up. Let's see. Prescott to Elliott on the draw. And Elliott spins around a defender before being brought down. Gain of five. Dallas takes their first timeout. 52 seconds left on the clock. Prescott in the huddle and you really got to start flinging the ball Vikings showing blitz off the left side Prescott throws and he's got Witten dangerous throw could have been picked off if it wasn't right on the money it was and so first down occurs Dallas it was to take a timeout, preserve some clock. And you're at your own 36. So, field goal range. He's missed two already. You, might <laughs> you definitely want to get so, uh, you want to definitely want to get inside Minnesota's 30 if you're going to try him again. It could be 11 to 6, right? Instead of 6 to 5. Three wide, Prescott in the gun. Prescott steps up in the pocket and throws incomplete. Second and ten now. Stops the clock. I think he was trying to get Elliott. Four wide, Prescott in the gun once again. He's gonna throw. Throws toward the sideline, he hits his man Dez. They're gonna rush back to the line as he was tackled in bounds. Clock under 30 seconds left. Prescott again, delayed handoff to Elliott. And Elliott gets stuffed. So they're gonna hurry back to the line once again. We'll see if they try and run a play. They're going to. 17, 16 seconds left. Prescott to Beasley. Beasley cuts up the field after the reception. Dallas is forced to take a timeout from the 41. Now, we'll see if they try and go for it all or if Bailey's going to try and kick again. Nine seconds left in the half. Dallas... If they're feeling gutsy, they can do a number of things. They could try and kick with Bailey again, which is this would be as far as this kick so far, even though he's missed two of the previous three. Or they could try and get closer. They have nine seconds. Try and get a quick play out of bounds. 
I think that's what they're going to elect to do. Maybe take a shot at the end zone. Flag down. I think it was a false start. Oh. Minnesota coming offside. Sendejo. That's going to give up the first down. And now it's a much more makeable field goal. We'll see if they try and hit this field goal with Bailey. Not a gimme, considering once again he he's missed two of three field goals. will try the field goal kicking from the 43 Bailey's kick is up and it's no good caught by Sharice he brings it out and he's dropped down at the 15 Bailey missing three for four that's the story in this one Wow I can't believe it. Two seconds left. Minnesota's going to take a knee probably and go into halftime. Dallas leaving nine points on the board. You know what this game reminds me of? It reminds me of the early 2018 season with um, Nick Folk and Roberto Aguayo with the Tampa Bay Bucks. That nightmare. That's what it feels like in this game so far. No halftime shows in this one. Dallas will get the ball to start the second half. Caught at the five by Switzer. Ryan Switzer is going to bring it up past the 25. And he's going to be brought down right at the 30. So a pretty good return. 25 yards, we, they will call it. And here comes Elliott. He's been pretty big so far in this game, but they still find themselves down. And Bailey's missed... Three of four. We'll see if they try it again. If I'm Dallas, I'm going for it on fourth down in that situation. Three wide. Prescott to Elliott up the gut. And I like that. Elliott gets gain of four, but what I like about that is Prescott, if you noticed, he was sprinting right up with his man trying to get a block. Could, didn't find anybody, of course, but the effort is outstanding. Second and six now for Dallas's first drive of the second half. Gun bunt, or three wide for Elliott, or <laughs> Prescott. Two hands to Elliott, and Elliott gets maybe four. Brings up third down. Cowboys haven't converted yet on third. You could count one of their conversions as a conversion by penalty because Vikings came off sides when it was a third and three, kind of like this one. But they have not yet themselves converted on third down. 
Running formation, it's Elliott. And Elliott's got a first. Gets 10 yards and he's already over 100 yards on the day. So the Cowboys get their first third down conversion of the game. That makes them one for four. And that's a confidence booster. Haven't been able to convert on third down yet, and then you finally get one. Only down one point. That's a confidence booster and a possible momentum builder. Burning formation in the eye. Prescott under center. Pitch to Morris. Alfred Morris gets... Maybe, not maybe, he gets nowhere. Loss of one on the play. Brought down by, I believe that's Harrison Smith. Brings up second and long now. We'll see if they persist with the ground game. It appears that they will, at least, for now. Running formation, Prescott under center. And some Morris again. And Morris is brought down, but there is a flag. So third and long is likely going to become a first down. It's Hunter. And that brings up a first down. Dallas is now in field goal range, I believe. Well, technically. Bailey's missed three or four, so if I'm Dallas, I'm definitely trying to get at least 10 or 15 more yards before I send that man on the field. And Elliott, he's had it. This is his first negative rush of the night. Brings up second and 13, loss of three. It's Gideon. Wow. Minnesota's been stiff on this side of the field inside their own 40. Making Dallas pay for it again. So third and long, you're going to go with the run? Seems to be kind of cooling down to start the second half. Vikings showing blitz. Prescott to Elliott. Elliott's got a hole. Elliott's got a first. Elliott tries to spin, but nothing doing. So he's brought down, but doesn't matter. He's got the first. Maybe double that. Look at that hole untouched. And that's the running that Elliott's experienced for most of Madden Madness. That'll make them, this is the deepest they've gotten into Minnesota territory so far. And they're, if they have to settle for three, I think pretty safe to say Bailey can hit this one. Hannah in motion. Prescott to Morris, and Morris has a hole as well. Alfred Morris. Gets the first down and a couple more yards out to the 12. Dallas is finally breaking through. Not to mention they're running some clock here. Trying to build up that time possession lead. First and 10 now in Minnesota. See, if Dallas gets a touchdown, that's going to be 12 to 6. So they might go for two if they get this touchdown. They get 13 to six. Might be a bit early for that, but you never know. It's a pitch to Morris. Morris makes a man miss before he's ultimately brought down after a gain of three. They'll call it three or between two and three, as it says, second and eight. Eight yards until the first down. But really, it's second and goal because 
the odds of you get landing inside that yard and a half or so, not the best. You might as well treat this as a goal to go situation. High formation, Prescott up to Morris up the middle. Morris has a gain of two. Brings up third and five. They converted one third down earlier in this drive. Let's see if they can convert another. They convert this one, it's likely a touchdown, so. But what could be the last play of the third quarter has Prescott under center in the eye. Prescott fakes the handoff, he's gonna throw here. He's got his man wide open to the left. Instead throws over the middle and he's got a touchdown. Des Bryant. His first touchdown of Madden Madness. And also Prescott's first touchdown of Madden Madness. So Dallas takes the lead again. Third lead change of the game. And they're going to go for two, trying to make it a seven-point game. Running formation for the offense. Vikings expecting... Vikings expecting run, but that fall starts a killer right there. Makes it seven yards to go for two points. They're standing out there like they're still going to go for this thing. I'll just take the point at this point. They're going to go for it again from the seven this time. Passing situation, three wide. Prescott to Elliott, and Elliott's untouched into the end zone for the two-point conversion, and that makes it a seven-point game. What a call. Everyone in the building is expecting pass from the seven. Instead, they run it, and Elliott untouched to the end zone for two. Now that man right there, Case Keenum, has to find a way down the field and try and tie this game. 21 seconds left in the third. Kicks away. Caught on the A of the Patriots logo and he takes a knee. Ball comes out to the 25 and so this last part of the third quarter is taking a while as Keenum comes out for his first. He's been pretty good so far, throwing one pick and one in, or one pick and one touchdown. That touchdown, though, that's a highlight reel. It's kind of vintage Cam Newton. Newton used to be able to, not as much anymore, but he used to be able to. He used to score a lot of his touchdowns, if not most, from 20, 30 yards away. So. Keenum takes the handoff, throws to Thielen, and Thielen gets close to the first down. He had a hole instead, cuts the wrong way and instead, brings up a second and one. So a pretty good gainer on first down, even though it doesn't pick up the first. He would have just cut to the left right there. He could have had first down easily and probably another 10 yards. Instead, second and one now. A lot of teams like to take a shot here. We'll see what they elect to do on the other side of the break. Because we are at the end of three here in the NFC Championship. Vikings down seven, but they have the ball. Vikings and Cowboys. You don't see that very often in the score box. Eight points by one team and eight points by this other team on the next court in the next quarter. Wait, Minnesota only has eight or six. <laughs> I think there was an error there. But uh 
Three wide for Keenum. Second and one. They're going to throw here. And dump off to Murray. Tries to look downfield, but doesn't force anything. Just takes the open man, takes what the defense gives him. And they gave him a first down. Good job by Keenum to really swing that thing in there. Beating Ouzier to the receiver. Six and a half to play. Vikings down seven. Keenum has four wide receivers. He's in the gun. Delayed handoff. It's a fake. Throws down the field. Nearly picked. It is picked. It's Jones again. Two interceptions for Jones so far. In this game, after not having a single one. Tries to force it in there to Thielen. And ball gets bobbled around and ultimately intercepted. So Dallas already up seven, has a chance to score another touchdown and possibly give themselves the final laugh. Six minutes, if they can take some time off the clock. Starting at their own 39, so can't run off too much from this far out as Hannah goes in motion. And Prescott hands to Elliott. He gets a moderate gain, 17 rushes, 128 so far in this one. He's got to be close, if not already have a record for rushing yards in a Mad Madness game. Prescott to Elliott, and Elliott's untouched again. Slips the tackle. Second man brings him down right after, though. Doesn't matter. Dallas has a first down, and they're inside Minnesota territory. And this running game, I think, is just tiring him out. Running formation for the offense. Prescott pitches to Morris, and Morris has a lane. Morris has a first. Down at the 30. And normally I would say they're in field goal range, but after Bailey's performance so far, I think Cow the Cowboys want definitely a little bit more. Four and a half to play. Cowboys in the driver's seat. Vikings trying to keep this a one possession game. Three wide. Running formation likely. Prescott to Morris. And Morris has another giant hole. Gain of 11. And they'll call it a first down. Doesn't matter who's back there. They're getting through the line untouched. Not touched at all. Prescott, quick dump off to Beasley on the slant. And Prescott only has 59 yards. His running back has more yards than he does. And that's why I've been saying is if you can stop Elliott and force the man who doesn't throw the ball very often to throw the ball, 
An obvious passing situation. Look at that rushing versus throwing. Play counter. Prescott to Elliott again. And Elliott's untouched. Dives into the end zone. Flag down, though. We'll see if the play stands. So the potential game ender gets called back. Amazing. You'd think there'd be a lot more holding calls, judging by the size of these holes, but... Cowboys line are just having their way. Second and ten now for the offense. Prescott to Elliott. And Elliott only gets a couple, gets one. So third and eight. So if Minnesota wants any real chance at winning this thing. They need a stop here on the other side of the two-minute warning. Six to 13. All right, Vikings and Cowboys, NFC Championship. Cowboys have a seven-point lead. Third and eight. In field goal range, so it could be a two-possession game after this next, after these next two plays. But Minnesota, with full timeouts, is not out of this yet. Prescott under center, showing run. They hand to Smith, and Smith, he's got the first. Minnesota is going to be forced to take a timeout. So that first down was just killer. Can't believe it. Minnesota just, they've had a pretty bad game so far. They've given up their season record amount of points. And by far their, their worst game point was against the Lions and they gave up three points. The other two games were shutouts, so the Cowboys have, ooh, tries to throw on first down, and that stops the clock again. Dangerous play call selection. You do not want to turn the ball over here. Three wide. And I think Minnesota is going to be off sides. And Griffin's going to give them a free five yards. And you're just probably going to run it here two times anyway, no matter what the down and distance is. As long as it's. As long as it says that. Blank and goal. But second and goal from the four is a lot better than second and goal from the nine. Minute 53 left. Minnesota with two timeouts. Down seven. Cowboys trying to salt this one away. Elliott. He's in. Touchdown, Cowboys. His fourth touchdown of Mad Madness. He got impacted in the back, like two yards short, and he just leaned his way through and fell forward for the touchdown. Kicks up. It's good. 14 point game here in Lincoln Financial. Nine plays, 52 yards, four and a half minutes. So Minnesota's got to get down the field in a hurry. 
They need an onside kick as well. Let's see if Minnesota can duplicate their last playoff win, which was the famous Minnesota Miracle. This is a taller task, though, for sure. Kicks away. Caught on the two or the three by Jarek McKinnon. And he's going to be brought down at the 25. First and 10. And Keenum, one touchdown, two picks in this game. And turnovers have really killed them. And I said they had to stuff the running attack, and they have done nothing close. That's why they're down two touchdowns with under two minutes left. Fumble, ball's loose. And it's recovered by Dallas. And the implosion continues. So even though the Cowboys missed three field goals, they're up two touchdowns with the ball inside the red zone. So it could be 29 to six. So if they get this touchdown, they could have had 36 to six, ouch. Reminiscent of that Eagles-Cowboys game, or of that Eagles-Vikings game from the NFC Championship. They hand to Elliott as expected. Second and two now on the other side of the timeout. Minnesota just called one. Well, at least it was a good first half. One of the more entertaining first halves that I've seen in Madden Madness this year. But the second half was quite the opposite. Just a Solid beat down by Dallas. A question as to who won. One. Flag down, free play for Prescott. Dumps it to Elliott. And this should be a first down no matter what. And they should decline the penalty. They do. Minnesota takes a timeout. As we wait, we can take a look at the bracket, assuming that this score stands. There you have it, Cowboys and Titans. That will be the championship. And the winner of that game will be the first Mad Madness champion. Prescott to Elliott. Elliott bounces off a tackle, and this one's ugly. Touchdown, 
Cowboys. Elliott's second of the game and fifth on the season. Should have been dropped for a loss, but instead just bounces off. Similar version of what we saw the last time the Cowboys were down here. Bailey makes a kick. It's an extra point. And Dallas is up 21. Three plays, 18 yards, only 12 seconds. So ideally, Minnesota would need to run this thing back for a touchdown to have any sort of minute chance. It's over. <laughs> Not supposed to say that as a commentator, but it is. As they decide to run it out, and they net an extra two yards on the return. One touchdown, two picks. So, ironically, the Vikings NFC Championship in Mad Madness will play a lot like their NFC Championship against the Eagles. Almost exactly the same. Dump over the top and incomplete. Let them way too much. And what I mean by that is Minnesota kept the game kind of close in both games. And then the second half, they just got demolished. At the end of the game, it was kind of a score like this. Caught by Thielen. Thielen's going to go close to the house. And that's the biggest play of the game. Don't think it'll matter much, but it'll feel good for the Vikings fans to and on a solid note, even though they're going to lose this game. Tries to get the dump off. Ball falls incomplete. Sean Lee in coverage. And even with this like late drive. So... <laughs> It's, it's kind of eerie how close this game was to the NFC Championship in the 2018 or 2017 postseason. Cam throws, dumps it to Murray, and Murray's in for the touchdown. That's his second of Mad Madness. And while it won't probably put them in a position to win this game, it's definitely a boost to confidence to end this season on a high note. Good juke by Murray as well. Probably just kick the extra point here, I'm guessing, and then go for the onside. Only three rushing attempts, 17 passes. That might have been part of the problem. 13 to 27. Four plays, 73 yards. And if Keenum could have had a drive like that earlier in the game, it might be a different 
It would be 13 to 20 right now if they didn't have that fumble that turned into a quick touchdown. A lot of would be's and ifs, I guess, in this game. Seems that they'll kick it deep anyway, even though their best chance is for the onside. They will actually go for the onside here. Kicks away and picked up immediately by the Cowboys. And Dallas should just be able to kneel it out now. Should be just a matter of time. One, maybe two plays. Hundred and fifty nine yards for that man right there in this resounding victory. And look at the the Cowboys wins have been really impressive too. Look at this um, schedule. Against the Super Bowl reigning Super Bowl champions, e Philadelphia Eagles go to overtime. Beat the Redskins, which aren't the worst team ever. Seahawks at the height of their dominance as their roster had the Legion of Boom before the breakup and now they're taking on the Vikings and they're winning this game this is going to be their biggest win yet so the Titans should get their affairs in order because it's going to be a fight to the death over there next week as that kneel down will bring us to the end of the NFC Championship alright it's official the game is over and the Cowboys are going to the big dance for the winning team it's a feeling of acceleration and nerves for the next week for the losing team it's one of the worst feelings to be so close yet so far win or lose it's a feeling you never forget so what was your prediction was it right let us know in the comments below thanks for watching leave a like if you enjoyed the game and until next time this is phantom saying see you soon